Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Chevy Colorado ZR2. This is going to be an in-depth sound system review, we're going to listen to some sample tracks, take a look at how the infotainment system works, get out on the road, listen to those tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. So before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the truck. So as I mentioned, this is the ZR2 trim, got it in crew cab, short box, looking good here in this candy red paint a little bit of updates front end a little bit different if you guys want to see all the hell we put this truck through off-road in fact I'm looking under here I'm still seeing mud underneath the mirror even though we just got this thing washed I've washed it three times in the week we've had it if you want to see more on that check the links in the description for our other footage we towed with it we took it off-road we reviewed it on road well covered so we always do these audio system tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the audio system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic sound system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. In the Colorado, you've got bass, mid-range treble on your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. I should point out, this is not the Bose 7-speaker system, this is just the bass 6-speaker audio system that comes in the Colorado. So let's sample the basement drain in trouble. No other sound uh, settings in there. For audio inputs in the Colorado, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support, two USB-A ports right there. I think there are some optional ones in here, but they're not optioned in this truck with the six speaker audio system. You also have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So what are you missing? Well, you don't have a disc player, but that's not too surprising to see in a 2021 vehicle audio controls you've got a nice big rugged easy to grab volume knob there with good detents and also volume controls on the back of the steering wheel on the right side which I like track selection you've got track selection buttons here you can use the touch screen as well you can use this knob that brings up sort of a folder list menu and then you can also use the right or left side of the steering wheel for changing tracks speaker locations very straightforward Just six speakers so one in the door two three four five and six. Let's hop out and take a quick listen to the stereo from the back seats since you guys seem to like that. See the one speaker in the door there, one on the other side. Seven speaker system would have a center speaker up there in the front. Oh, and also you've got two more USB ports back here, although it looks like they probably only provide charging. First thing I'm noticing is you gotta turn the volume up more to hear it back here. You notice a little extra bass back here, a little bit throatier of the sound. But like I said, it's a good bit quieter. Kind of just vague. All right, let's get on the road.
our channel know this next song can really test the limits of an audio system. So let's see how the Colorado six speaker handles it. Overall, I'd say the Chevy sound engineers did a good job at just kind of protecting a generic sound from this bass system. Nothing remarkable, but it's good for this song to not sound super harsh on your ears. Just super bad, if you will. And it doesn't sound great, it's not hugely powerful or crisp, but it doesn't sound awful, which sometimes for a bass system is all you can really ask of a complex song like that. For this song, we'll turn the sound or bass all the way up. Let's see how it handles it. Oh wow! <laughs> I probably can't see it in the camera, but the outside mirror is shaking a ton. I can actually feel the speaker pushing out on my pant leg on the left side. Not much mirror shakage from up here. It doesn't sound great. But uh, went out a little more power than I expected, so that's kind of neat. Set that back to normal. Whoops. system here in the Chevy Colorado. As I said earlier, it's holistically average. Chevy did a good job at just making this system competent without being outstanding. If I had to give an objective rating for it, it'd be a five. It's right in the middle. It does get helped out by the fact the infotainment screen works quite well. It's got all of your inputs that you could possibly want. I mean, not really begging for a disc player here for a car that only costs starting in the 20s and it's just a basic audio system. It's not like you're looking for high fidelity audio. And having Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support that work very well is good. Subjectively speaking, for a mid-sized truck, this is probably about a six, given the price of the vehicle. Not as spec, 45 grand, but if you were just getting this in a base like WT or, or LT or something like that. Hopefully, actually, I don't know if the base space system is a four speaker or not. I have to check into that. So I hope you guys were able to get a good impression for the Colorado's audio system. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a bunch. Check out some of our other content. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlotte from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.